Want to add a distinct mood or theme to your image but don't know where to start? Today, I'll show you how to do simple color grading in the free program Paint.net using just one effect. The free download link for Paint.net and for this test image are in the description as always. To get started, open up your image by dragging it inside the window and clicking open. Then at the top left, we'll find the adjustments tab where the curves button will be. If you have the default keybinds, that would be Control shift m I'll expand this tab a little bit for the sake of visuals on the video but it isn't necessary. Clicking this drop-down menu to go to the RGB tab, the boxes of red, green, and blue are all selected. We can click anywhere on the grid to add a point. The most important thing to know is raising the curve up or down adjust the colors in the image that are checked. In this case, since all red, green, and blue are selected, this adjusts the curve of the image in terms of white, since red, green, and blue together is white. For example, if we only keep the red box checked and raise the curve, the amount of red in the image will increase, while if we decrease the curve, the amount of red will decrease. You might notice that there's only three colors to choose from, but if you combine different colors together, you can technically get six colors to adjust. Those additional ones would be cyan, magenta, and yellow. The color wheel down here is actually a great way to figure out how to make these colors. That additional color will be touching two of the three colors of red, green, or blue. For example, if we wanted to adjust the cyan in the image, we can see that cyan is touching blue and green on the color wheel. The same method can be applied to get magenta and yellow. For my example, I'll be adjusting yellow, but you can choose whichever color you want for the image that you have. Selecting yellow means we are checking red and green squares. We can add additional points to the curve to get more control of where the color is being added. For example, if I add a second point to the lower part of the curve, that will mean that the darker portions of the image will receive less yellow, while still retaining most yellow in the lighter portions. Unless you go to the extreme, there's no right or wrong amount of adjustments to do. I'm happy with how these colors look, but before pressing select, we should know that once select is pressed, the effect is permanently baked into the image. Unfortunately, the only way of changing it is to take a step back in the history, and then repeat the same color grading. That's it for this tutorial. These videos take a lot of time, energy, and planning to make, so if you like the video, click the like button. If you have any questions, comment them below for a quick response. If you'd like more of this type of content, click the subscribe button and put the bell icon to get notified when I post more content like this. You wouldn't really have anything else to do because you're in quarantine, just like me. Links in the description include my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord server. I've been Spyro Leggio, and thanks for watching.